we're going to discuss the differences between quotations and paraphrases, and also answer some frequently asked questions concerning quoting. We're all familiar with quotations, where we take the exact words from another source and place them within our text surrounded by quotation marks. A paraphrase is different. Here's our original quote. Happiness, more specifically positive mood, is influenced by genetics, leading theorists to propose a genetically determined set point for happiness above which one cannot rise, writes Peterson and Park, 2009, page 304. Instead of including these exact words, we may want to provide our reader with just the main point of the text. We do that with a paraphrase. Here's a paraphrase of that quotation. Genetics is partially responsible for a person's happiness, establishing a limit for how happy one can be. Peterson and Park, 2009, page 304. Even with a paraphrase, we will still create an in-text citation just as we would when quoting. In creating this paraphrase, we conveyed the main point while following the number one rule of paraphrasing. Paraphrase in your own words. We didn't just take the quote and change a couple of the words, we altered everything. The main idea is the same, but the two sentences are very different. There are times where we might want to include a unique word or phrase from the original quotation into the paraphrase. For instance, the phrase set point would be useful to include in the paraphrase. So we do that by placing quotation marks around it. Now let's look at some common questions that may come up while quoting sources. How do we format really long quotations? For quotes that are 40 words or longer, we will create what is called a block quotation. Notice how the quote is set off from the rest of the text and not within quotation marks. It is started on a new line and indented a half inch or one tab. We have still included the author's last name and the publication date. The page numbers are still at the end of the quotation in parentheses, but after the closing punctuation mark. How can we skip part of a quotation? When typing a quote, we may want to omit part of it if the information isn't essential. We can do this by using an ellipsis or three dots in a row in place of the missing words. The in-text citation will be the same. We're reading a journal article that has a great quote from another source. If we use the quote, do we cite the journal article or the original source where the quotation first appeared? Ideally, we would use the citation in the journal article to find the original source and then cite the quotation from there. However, if we can't access the source or don't have time, we can cite the quote as an indirect source. We do that by including the original source's author in the sentence. In the parentheses at the end of the quotation, we will include the words as cited in and then the author, date, and page number of the secondary source. 